Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Friday, February 17th. Today we are talking about building strength and resilience from the inside out. And the moon is in Capricorn supporting our um, deeper inner work and empowerment as we think about what our foundations are and uh, how to rely on our own knowledge, wisdom, strength, skills, <laughs> who we are. So finding your own backbone, finding your own place of strength and discovering what you're good at and how to draw on that uh, as a resource for yourself um, in your own self-care. So remember, we are in and just nearing the end of a moon cycle that began with the Aquarius new moon um, at the end of January. So we, we're we all moon cycle. We're working on this theme of uh, breakthrough, higher thinking, shaking things up, getting outside the box. And what are the new ideas, new possibilities, new insights and ways of looking at things that can help us uh, move forward into the future um, and into a future that might look different than where we have been in the past. So really opening to that and what that could look like if we if we open the doors uh, and let in a breath of fresh air, what might come in in terms of ideas or changes or new ways of approaching life. So we're doing this work. Um, we also have right now, we've got uh, three planets in Aquarius. So the sun is in Aquarius um, it's conjoining with Saturn or um, has been over the past day. So um, so that Saturn in Aquarius energy is there as well. Uh, Mercury in Aquarius. Uh, what did I say? Sun, Saturn and Mercury are in Aquarius. Um, we've got Venus and Neptune in Pisces really taking us to that bigger picture of spirituality and the ability to feel good and connect with beauty that is of a more spiritual nature. So beauty and um, uh, kind of coming from that place of being transcendent um, and, and heartfelt, right? Um, uh, beauty that's more of the intangible type. <laughs> um, and love, of course, unconditional love and how we need to open to receive unconditional love in order for it to benefit us. Because of course it's there. Unconditional love is a given. You are, you are lovable as you are without any changes, without uh, needing to meet any expectations but it is up to you to um, be open to that unconditional love. And so we get frightened. We close ourselves off from it sometimes. And the more you can support yourself to remember that you are loved unconditionally by the universe and you are inherently lovable and worthy um, by definition, by your nature in being alive, uh, that, um, that that love can flow more easily for you. And um, so we've got a lot of Aquarian energy, a lot of Pisces energy. We also have Capricorn with Pluto in its last degree now of Capricorn uh, for the for the next uh, month uh, or so um, and before it goes into Aquarius. Pluto kind of finishing up some of its transformational work in Capricorn. Uh, we, we'll have more later this year, but um, again, watch my video from Sunday if you want to learn more about what's going on uh, with Pluto going into Aquarius in March. Um, and then, of course, the moon in Capricorn bringing in more of that Capricorn energy. So, uh, so thinking about strength and resilience from the inside out sometimes means opening your mind. Sometimes it means um, uh, doing that Aquarian work of letting in a breath of fresh air, 
opening, you know, the uh, metaphorical door to new ideas, new insights, new ways of thinking. And sometimes that just means letting go of old ways of thinking. So instead of um, if you're noticing that you're stepping into a spiral pattern of worrying or um, or thinking about things in uh, ways that you've thought you know about them before like it's the same old thinking being recycled do you ever does that ever happen to you so um so what you want to do is just empty all that out have an empty mind an open mind a beginner's mind and you can do that by um going for a walk uh, sitting in nature, sitting in your yard, on your front porch, um, listening to birds, uh, having a shower or a bath. So, you know, it's anything that kind of turns off the normal chatter chatter that's going on in your mind, that might be going on in the world around you, just kind of getting quiet and being with these rhythms of nature, sort of a, a, a stillness that dwells inside of you and being with that stillness and that ability to just be is gonna bring you back to yourself and the places where you know how, uh, how to be strong and how to be resilient. In other words, the places where you know what you need <laughs> <laughs> because when you connect with that part of you, that wisdom that knows what you need, then you can take care of yourself and then you feel better. And that is all that resilience is, is that ability to take care of yourself in ways that help you feel better. Yesterday, we were talking about how to have a great day every day. And so uh, I had some great ideas there, just, just shaking things up a little bit, thinking outside the box, like, what would it look like if we thought about life in terms of like, it could be a great day every day? And what, why isn't it? And what can we do in small ways about that? to uh, help support ourselves to have a great day every day. So uh, I talked about that yesterday. That was a good one. Um, and then uh, connecting with this wisdom that you have with this place of inner knowing that uh, knows what you need and how to take care of yourself. That is what resilience looks like. Um, and then your ability to, to come back to uh, a place where you uh, are de-stressed, feel peaceful, uh, have your needs met, feel full, feel rested. You know, you have that juice for life. You have that ability to be creative because you are naturally creative uh, by being alive. You are a creator. You have created yourself and uh, you can continue to create uh, new and different things that you want um, through your intentions and your willingness to learn how to do that. So it's all about supporting yourself and doing the self-care that helps you um, get to that place of strength and resilience so that you can be more creative and find solutions to the things that, that do interfere with your own happiness and your joy, the things that cause worry or stress, um, that we can discover new possibilities and new ways of being within that. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying these videos, which I am enjoying making them for you. And I love uh, sharing with you. So uh, thank you so much for being here and for your support. If you want to learn more about me and what I do, uh, check out astrologyheals.com. I have written two books um, about healing cycles and astrology and how to work with it uh, for yourself. So uh, some great resources there. And uh, let me know what you think and what you want to hear more about. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time. Bye for now.